the lock's not broken. It's not Jimmy. Well, I said, how they got in here? Maybe they found my key in the street. What do you mean you found your key? Don't you have your key? No, I lost it. I thought I lost it around the house somewhere, but maybe I lost it in the street. If you don't have your key, how are you going to get back in after shopping? I left the door open. You, you left the door open? <laughs> Just a high fly. Edna. That's it, isn't it? Isn't it? Edna. All right, what else did they get? Am I a detective? Look, you'll find out. Where are my suits? jacket and eight pairs of slacks. If that's what you have, then that's what they got. I'm lucky my tuxedo's in the cleaners. They sent that back this morning. <laughs> <laughs> they cleaned me out. And now they cleaned me out. Took everything. Left me with a goddamn pair of khaki pants <laughs> and a golf hat. <laughs> Anyone calls us to dinner this week, ask them if it's okay if I show up and khaki pants and a golf hat. $5 a week girls bringing me coffee and Danish and not charging me for it. I saw it coming. Mel, Mel, Mel. They said they had to do it. They had to make cuts down the line. Seven executives, 12 salesmen, 24 in office help, 43 people in one afternoon. It took three elevators, two trips to get rid of all the losers. Wait till the coffee and Danish man comes in tomorrow. He'll throw himself out the window. Oh, 
stopped. Didn't happen today. Happened on Monday. Monday? You mean you've known for four days and you haven't said a word to me? I don't even know how to tell you. I couldn't bring up the courage. I was hoping a job would turn up. A miracle would happen. Miracles don't happen when you're 47. When Moses saw the burning bush, he was 23, 24 at the most. <laughs> Never 47. <laughs> what have you been doing since Monday? Where have you been? What did you do all day? In the mornings, I made some calls, tried to see a few people. You'd be surprised when you need help how many people are out to lunch at 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> in the afternoons, I went to museums. I went to an auction. I went to the office furniture show. Coliseum. I saw an Italian movie. I saw a Polish movie. <laughs> I saw two dirty movies. <laughs> I saw Dave Polachek as a dirty movie. <laughs> <laughs> we lied to each other, said we had that. You know, it's time to kill before the next appointment. Some important appointments. <laughs> I went to Central Park, and he went to Ripley's Wax Museum. <laughs> Nelly should have come home. Why? I had a very nice bench in the park near the woman's skating rink. For lunch, I had my jelly apple and my Fanta orange drink. Mel, I can't bear it. I almost had an affair with a 73-year-old English man. <laughs> we hit it off very well, but the baby didn't like me. I'll be all right, Ed, now. I don't want you to worry about me. I'll be all right. I know you will, Mel. I know you will. I'll find another job, you see. Of course you will. We'll take down the bedroom drapes.